welcome to FS19 new mods for Farming Simulator 19 and today we've got a few mods to catch up on I missed a few last week so we're gonna get on with them today now let's go to the mod hub and see what mods we are reviewing today and here's today's FS19 mods so first mod review we're gonna do is the adapter and that's by ready 90 the adapter for track for coupling devices with low coupling to achieve a lower turning radius so it puts it right down on the deck i suppose we'll have a look at that one and then we have the fork lizard spino with claws by black sheep modding fork with claws to hold bells in place for front loaders telehandlers and wheel loaders cool and then we have the metal shed by camillos 0397 which is an, another shed 6 by 13 meters but we always get small sheds we don't get very big ones and we'll have a look at that and then moving up we have the gens he 561 sda pack by vector man pack with two versions of the gens wood jabber two versions short table and a long table oh, that's pretty handy to sell the wood chipper it must it has to be clicked on a concrete base because of technical limitation the wood chipper would not be rotated by 180 degrees otherwise it looks weird <laughs> okay it must be placed on a self level terrain because auto ground leveling doesn't work on placeable vehicles right that's cool and then we have a sugar beet heap and this is by fenfan79 and ls agra service a sugar beet heap 10 by 20 meters and 10 by 50 meters so is that two oh we got two different ones then this is 20 meters and 50 meters long sugar beet can be covered for storage well that's cheaper than well it wants to be cheap because uh it's not a building or anything and then we have a potato heap by fenfan and ls agri service and same thing with that but potatoes cool and then there is an update for the pigsty which is tip call added bell tri trigger for straw added new speculator maps small couple small fixes by camillus 0397 and then we have seasons geo safe poland by cam us or cam us us poland a country with four seasons winter can be cold and summer can be very long this is a a geo mod that requires seasons mod version cool so that's safe poland one and then we have csz equipment pack which on that fixed problem with automatic bail loading added new translations some minor bug fixes and then the placeable liquid fertilizer and herbicide is an update for that is change capacity to 60,000 litres so it's a little bit bigger because it was quite low I can't remember what it was but it was low and also created a German title corrected author's title and that is your lot for today's FS19 new mods right then first FS19 mod to review and we have the sugar beet heaps and the potato heap now uh, first ones over here are the potatoes and you see they're defined by these square pegs post pegs just like that so that's the smaller one and then the larger one is over that side and those two are the potatoes and then these two are the sugar beet let's start on the sugar beet because these are over this side anyway now we have two different models available this is the 10 by 50 as you can see 10 by 50 meters and the one next door to that is the smaller one which is the 10 by 20 meters now this one costs 100 pounds and they're minus four they're all minus four on the slot count all of these uh these heaps and easy as that you just put it all down and it creates a heap so let's put the help window on so i can show you that and you see we've got the blanket silo has come up on this one we got 34,000 of sugar beet in there so you just blanket silo which is the L3 and it just covers them up just like that and we do the same on that one as well 
Ah, uh, this one. No, I did. No, this one I already blanketed, and then it wouldn't let me blanket it again. So I'm not sure if that's a little, a little glitch or what the crack is with that. Also, the compact in there is at 92%, where I found these other ones. Well, that one, yeah, that one's f fermenting. It says fermenting, but it's not. Then if I open that, it just comes up there, but it won't let me. It just lets me open silo. It doesn't let you blanket again for some strange reason. It's probably a little glitch in there. So bear that in mind. If you're going to blanket it, you can probably only do it once at the moment until we have a update for it. But pretty cool mod. At least it's not taking up a, a big big bit of space or a building and you can put it where you want. I found it went down pretty much anywhere. There wasn't any issues as it hasn't got a flat uh, it's not like a building is it so you didn't really have issues for it you can see that one it won't let me blanket it whatsoever so never mind anyway so these are the two sugar beet heaps and it's 250 quid for the big one and 100 pounds for this one then the potatoes we have three different potato heaps we have a 10 by 50 meters which is this one here then you have a 10 by 20 meters and there's also another 10 by 20 meters which is made up with these bales you've got these bale walls around the side of it there and same thing again this one won't let me blanket it i think that one i blanketed as well so i think this one hasn't been blanketed yet so we can do the blanket silo on that and then the fermented potatoes just shoots right up and it's gone up again there it is open silo and then you can open your silo back up again to get to your sugar beet or your potatoes but same thing again it won't let you do it more than twice what came up then when i yeah it's just the open silo for some reason comes up again it won't let you blanket it for the second time so which is a bit of a shame because um, you might only want to take a little bit of those commodities out but it's new so it's probably we'll get an update and that will sort that out so that is the potato heaps and the sugar beet heaps easy as that now they've got these these weights here now i take these are just for for show and you know you put them down when you put the plastic down i suppose that's what i took it out so anyway anyhow moving on next mod we have is the metal shed now i thought this was an original metal shed but it's not it's a brand new metal shed and you see it is quite high so it is a decent size on it now it is six meters by 13 meters and you can see it's a corrugated shed top job now we've got all the guttering running around the edge now it has got lights on here ah there's a switch there that's where we turn the lights on there was a switch on the inside and it didn't seem to work which i thought well what's the point of that there's nothing more annoying than i'm going to switch on a wall that doesn't work if it don't work don't put it on the bloody wall easy and then we're not oh why didn't that work anyway door open wise pretty quick on the animation for for those doors opening so we can close it again bang bang there it is straight away and you see i got the class telehander and we have the terror track in it which is a fairly decent size ah is that the light switch that no see i just couldn't find the light switch for inside because there is a switch just here oh it's working now okay when i came up to it earlier it wouldn't come on well it didn't even show that there was a switch there so apologies on that it all works light switches are all there no problems now this all this stuff in here you can't pick any of this up it's just there for a show but never mind we've got a little window looking out just a couple of windows but nice size little shed quite cheap really 20 grand well, i suppose is it is it cheap for a small shed i don't know but 20 grand to buy and is minus 17 on the slot game which i was quite surprised about that that's pretty high and a 30 pound maintenance for it on the day as well so that is the metal shed right we need to go back up to the shop where i've no we don't i forgot we got two of these i forgot about the gents we have the gents he561 sta pack which consists of chippers 
with the conveyors on the on the uh, end of them basically so these are static obviously you, they are placeables so you put them down wherever you want now I didn't find any issues where I placed these just went straight down and had a little zoom around the map as well and didn't have any issues it seemed to come up green saying it was going to place it so no problem with it now these do cost the smaller one there is £75,000 to buy and then the larger one over here is £85,000 with a minus five on the slot count and obviously the one is a short bed and the other one is a long bed so this one's ideal if you want to be putting full trees on because of the length of the bed then you should be able to put quite a decent size on there where the other one we've got in the game has got a, I think the bed's a little bit longer in that one but you couldn't put too big a trees on there as it'd fall off and it was a bit of a pain in the arse but uh, anyhow so these are obviously classed as vehicles so you do actually get them in them and then we've got the pipe out function which takes off the cover on the conveyor just like that and then we got it turn on unfold first then I think we should start engine first so that's engine started turn on the wood crusher and away it goes now you notice it you see it's not unloading because you have to do the unload here whereas if you put a trailer there it will just fill it straight up I'm pretty sure let's go and get the the man right so we got the man and I, I thought it would just unload straight into that but no so we do have to do the unload wrong one we want to be in that one no that one let's get over the other side of it right now we're in that one so yeah it's only going to work if we do where is it it won't let me do it turn off turn on and and it won't have it what's going on with there is uh well we do have these little glitches with some of the implements you get in it and then you start firing it up and it won't have it yeah see that one's the same as well now i had these working earlier turn on wood crusher there we go so it's turning it on all right it's breaking it up but now it's not unloading so why won't you unload for us that's annoying turn off wood crusher yeah they're all working fine but for some reason it won't unload now I did see the it did show it earlier that it was unloading because when I turned on the unload the conveyor worked and before it unloaded well it wouldn't work so it's all the same you go on camera and then pipe in pipe out okay so the unload function has come up now so is it to do with the truck then if the truck is parked there it won't unload which is a uh, a bit strange because surely you want to unload it straight into a truck rather than dropping it on the floor but yeah as soon as there's a oh well, it just started going so you probably do have to turn on the unload first then so let's go back into this one and this one should come up with unload now yeah it is so you do the unload and you see the the conveyor has just started whizzing around there now so that is all on but that log seems to be stuck and it doesn't want that log for some reason let's try it with uh, another one drop that one down there Let's try it with a larger one. And that, that's strange, I can't seem to get that chipper working. It doesn't want to have it. Not sure if it's something I 
not doing or what? So is this one, let's turn on crusher, stop engine, and it should be unloading. The unload was on anyway, but I think it just doesn't like the fact that there's a vehicle there. Drop that one. Yeah, it won't have it. All right, so let's move that vehicle out of the way. I thought it might go straight away. unload here okay so the unloading features both working on both of them now but it's not chipping try one more go there it goes just got a little bit stuck in there and going inside of all this it looks pretty cool you can see all the animation work in a treat and the detailing of the mod it looks fantastic it does look like a, a chipper it really does done a good good nice job on it I think this would probably be the one most people would be using as you can put the full logs onto it then but a nice bit of kit right let's try one more time on this other one then because it's got to go come on now let's throw it in there and no now, I'm not going to say it doesn't work because I, I have seen there's no way that the one works and this one doesn't they're both the same mod anyway as it were so but no it's not having it it's not having it it was earlier I don't know what the crack is with that let's just try a different one try different logs you might not like that log for some reason drop that one down get that one out of the way and hopefully that'll just chip yeah there it is so it was just that log basically wasn't it although it hasn't came out of the conveyor yet so okay yeah, and it is on unload yep yeah, stop unload oh, jump me into the wrong bloody one right so this one oh it's doing it now okay so it will drop it on the deck as well so there you have it that is the new gents chippers and nice bit of kit cracking right next mod is at the shop i will see you there in a moment right so the next mod we have is the lizard adapter now this just turns everything into a two point rather than three point really where at the moment you can see we've got the drawbar hitch is just there and with the use of this implement it hooks up on the back of the three point but it just hooks up on those two hooks there so it brings your trailer the drawbar back down to there which gives you a hell of a lot more of a turning radius on it whereas if we get into the little linder and we go over and hook that one up there and you see so on that the maximum like this one is pretty good anyway but you're talking what probably about a 45 degree or something like that you're not going to get any more on that now the advantage of the adapter tool is we can plunk that on and now we can turn with a bigger radius a lot tighter turning it's great for traders really you can get them into tight spaces a lot easier so hook that onto there so that's all hooked on and now you can see the turning radius we've got that's over 90 degrees so that's pretty cool that is a very useful little mod 1100 pounds to buy and it's 56 pounds on your initial leasing costs turn that into the sun and it's minus three on the slot count you see we've got all the hydraulics hooked up to it as well and it looks pretty cool so all it's doing is moving your drawbar hitch away and actually the original drawbar hitch it has actually oh no it hasn't I thought it disappeared I don't think it's disappeared is it, is, is it in there no I think it has it might have slightly changed 
drop that off. Yes, it does. It disappears. You can see there's a draw hitch there, and then as soon as you pick up, it takes that away and puts it on the back for you. So, a pretty cool mod. But there's a, we've had a, quite a few implements which are on the two point rather than the three point, and it just gives you that extra big turn in radius. But nice, useful mod that is. I like that. Pretty cool. Right, then the last one we've got to look at today. I don't know why I got that one out there. Is the Lizard Spino. Spino. Right, we have the Fork Lizard Spino. Now it's called a different, a few other things where we may as well, I don't know why they call it Fork Lizard and why isn't it just Lizard Spino. We know what a Lizard Spino is. We're all familiar with it. We've been waiting for Black Sheep Modern to bring it out. And here it is. Now it comes in two different sizes. So we have the standard Spino there. And then we have the large one, which is that one there. So cost wise, the smaller one is 4,500 with 229 pounds for your initial leasing cost. Just minus two on the slots. So they're not a huge amount of slots whatsoever. And then the larger one, the Spino Big T, is seven thousand five hundred pounds and will cost you three hundred and eighty two pounds for your initial leasing costs now this will hold quite a few bales it's obviously designed for like six bales but this one you can actually put nine bales on it same with that one that one's really designed for sort of three three bales or so and you can put six on that one as well this one will actually take nine so you've got nine on that one and six on that one now we'll have a little run through and uh, show you what they're like because there is a little bit of a problem with it you've just got to watch the buttons because it will release itself now when you've got the so you've got the forks down like this it will sit on the deck as it is if you've got the forks um, turned it up well let's let's look at the little spino first and i got me new holland out i love the noise of this one Right, so we hook that up. Now, if you're looking for these, they are all under your t telehanders because they do a fit on front loaders and telehanders. Or was it just telehanders and wheel loaders? Yeah, I think it might be just telehanders and wheel loaders. So anyway, controls wise. So we have the L1 and the R1, hold those down and then up and down on the right stick and that enables the hooks to come into place just like that which is uh, pretty cool, like that. Now you can change all the different colors. You can have the main color and change that and 200 pound for the design color as well, where the design color is the forks. 36 colors available, so you can color coordinate it to whatever you want. Right, so let's just pick up a, a couple of, I'll tell you what, we'll stack these. We'll take that one off. Now you pick them up, obviously you just drive up get it lined up like I'm not get it lined up just like that and try not to knock them over oh, bloody hell it's always the same in it you set something up to do something and then you just screw it up right anyway let's get those drop that down a bit get those together yeah and they just want to move around anyway so picking these ones up just put it on top eases that put it on top and then you do the L1 and R1 and you see it it recognizes it straight away but you need to do the grab all the way down and pick it up and don't touch that button again because if you touch that button even a little bit you start maneuvering them around a little bit and I'll show you it probably won't do it now yeah see you just released it a little bit but you can see all the hooks are still engaged so your best bet is don't touch it. I did this a few times by accident, just getting used to the controls and then pressing the wrong thing and it was like, ah, oh, and they just release. So it does hold it all right. Now you have got to go steady. You start going at 100 miles an hour and yeah, you're going to lose them. They're going to fall off. Typical, they're not going to fall off now, are they? Anyway, on the larger one, they do fall off. So you've got to be careful, but you're not going to be driving around too much and I found they were quite sticky but well, they didn't come off 
but you have just got to watch that you do it up a little bit just that little bit and then come off like that so that's the little one and obviously with that one you can pick up your two or three let's get those get those hooks back up but if you stack them the other way you can pick up more so these ones I did these with the auto loader and the auto loader likes to stack them up like that on their end and then we can go in and what I was surprised about is there is no weight problem so basically you can see it there it's recognized 24,000 liters of bales and there it is picks them up like that I just noticed that when you pick a few more up they do start dancing around a little bit so you have got to be careful just just take it easy with them and it will work with no issues if you start messing around with them then yeah they're gonna all fall off the same thing again you just got to watch that button control see you just release it that little bit and you'll lose your load so bear that in mind now this makes loading bales pretty damn quick especially when you get used to using it now like I said if we drop that one off now it drops off on the floor like that if you do it with the forks down it stays nice and flat right so let's go over to the big spino 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 whatever we want to call it and same thing again with this one we just got the hooks come up like that and the beauty about this one is you can pick up quite a big stack I tell you what we've got this stack ready to go on the truck there and we just get lined up in the middle get that right away so I don't knock these over as I was, I was playing around with this um, the other day and god the arrows went by and I was like that you're meant to be doing a mod review not playing with them but I just got over over excited with it it was just and then before you knew it it was like 10 o'clock was like what right so that one down like that put the hooks in and up it goes and see I thought you're gonna have to have a weight on that but no these they were not too bad obviously as soon as we go too far they will fall but there we go one advantage you release them it does come out straight away so let's get those hooks back up and you could well if you want to use the boom you really you should uh, put weight on the back and that should uh, sort out any balance problems right we're going to be able to straighten these up yep not bad so we get them hooked but yeah you just don't want to drive it around too much don't put six on or nine on and then decide to go for a drive because you will start they do start dancing around same as anything with these bales there we go that little release and they're off but cracking useful mod really is so let's get that last stack and this was in mods and testing for quite a while so it's nice to be able to it's here and we can do an FS19 mod review on it I was going to do a separate video on this but uh, another time another place maybe to see if it does speed up the loading which I'm pretty sure it would let me know in the comments say how you've been getting on with it if you enjoy it or you think is a load of crap because uh, I think personally it's a it's a good mod we like useful mods like this this is saving your time look at that nine bales in one hit so we load 27 bales and we touch them three times that's not bad and I was just shocked about the weight I thought they'd be tumbling around now this is one of the modded telehandlers so I'm not sure if that makes a difference or what really but uh, it holds it up no problems let me know in the comments if you've had any problems with it especially with any of the other telehandlers release that off drop it off jobs are good un.
but it's here the spino the lizard what spino right they call it fork lizard spino and then all these other stuff what did it actually say when we drop it lizard spino t big that's why i don't understand why they just call it that it's easy then isn't it rather than this fork lizard what's the point of putting a fork in there just gets confusing but I, I can't remember what it's called in the where did i see it it said fork lizard oh i don't know what it was it's like look it's the lizard spino so there it is the lizard spino big right we drop that one there and hopefully we can get some straps on I'm not sure if they're gonna go oh they do go on to three stacks so not bad there they are that's probably a little bit too top heavy but we shall find out right oh well that's it for today's fs19 mod review i hope you've enjoyed this episode or find it useful or even helpful or just thoroughly enjoyed it if you did always appreciate if you smash that like button for me and if you are new to the channel why not go and check out one of my farming simulator videos got lots of stuff out there at the moment from new mods to mods in testing and map tools and various other tutorials to show you how different implements work thanks for watching and i will see you next time